Hey there guys, so we've made it down to the Relics exhibit and there's a bunch of awesome stuff to see, so let's check it out. Here at the Relics A New World Rises exhibit, builders Jackson and Alex have actually used our lights to help enhance their whole exhibit. And what they have done is truly incredible. The whole idea behind this is the humans are long gone and there's leftover human artifacts that Lego minifigs have taken over and built a world in. So here I am at the ATM, which they've called the New World Credit Union. It's really cool that they've turned a found object like this into a bank for the minifix. You can see down the bottom, they've actually got like a full bank vault. And then as you work your way up in the model, there's a full bank and a bunch more cool details. And that's pretty consistent with the entire exhibit. You've got cool old objects that they've packed full of awesome Lego. Let's go check something else out. So obviously there's gonna be a bunch of awesome models at this exhibit, but me being a space fan, this one has gotta be my favorite. I love how they've turned a bunch of old arcade machines into this new sci-fi kind of world where you've got the spaceships on the inside of a claw machine and then they literally fly out the prize shoot. They've actually used our lights in pretty much the entire exhibit and you can see cool sections like this little alien planet right here with lights lighting up all those nice domes and a bunch more awesome stuff. So, um, oh. Ah, Jackson's pretty much here, so let's go chat to the man that made this happen. Hey guys, so we're at the front of the Relics exhibit at the moment, and we've got Jackson here, one of the amazing builders that actually built the thing. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your Relics exhibit, Jackson? Sure. So uh, the exhibition is a, a hypothetical future where humans have left the planet and Lego people have moved into the, the old objects that we've left behind to build new worlds. Let's head back into the exhibit to check out some of the awesome work. What we wanted to do was really to create something that would bring Lego into an art gallery context, but do it in a completely different light, in a way that people had never seen before. And that's when we had the idea of bringing old antique objects into the mix and creating stories around the interaction between the Lego and the old objects. We're at the jukebox now, which you said was one of your more favoured models. What would you say some of your favourite details on this one are? Uh, I love the stage at the top here. A lot of action happening up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and totally. And the diner down the bottom, where we've really tried to nail that 1950s diner aesthetic. Whose idea was the little alligator down here? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that was Alex's. Very nice, very nice. Well, points to Alex. Sorry you're not here for me to give you a high five for that one. So now we're in front of another one of the awesome models here, and this is a grandfather clock. It looks pretty old. Where did you get this from? We bought this from an antique shop. It is almost 300 years old. And they went up and put Lego in it, which is kind of awesome. This little contraption here has 11 Technic motors in it. All of them are hooked up to a series of Raspberry Pi microcomputers, so that when you step up to it, the whole thing sequentially whirs to life. I think I was working it for a couple of weeks, and then we were testing it and testing it for the following three or four months afterwards. Obviously, this is cool, but you've got a bunch of other awesome models. What would you like to head over to next? Let's go check out the Beetle. Let's hit it. So this build, these characters are living in the front of the Beetle and they're powering their society from the engine bay, which is at the back of the car. Nice. They're pumping fuel from the oil drum next door, but the fuel is down to its dregs and it's about to run out. So their society is descending into chaos. Okay, that's awesome. There's so many cool details that you've highlighted using our lights on this model, like the little bin fires and the power station at the back. They've actually used our lights in a lot of these models and I gotta say, you've absolutely killed it. It's great to see different things get done with our lights and you've done an amazing job with not only the lights, the entire exhibit. Thanks for having a chat to us and we can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you. We'll see you around.
Well guys, that's been the Relics exhibit. It's been super fun to come down here and check out all of the awesome Lego models. This is something a little bit different compared to what the regular Lego user does. And it's cool to see all the different ways that Lego can actually be used. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.